As human beings, I think we're creative all the time. We are creative not only when we are awake, but we are creative when we are asleep. I hope you'll like the owl. Made from the end of an old bench support I found and cut away the rotted part. I think it's a story that uh, a lot of people are inspired by. It is her unstoppable creative impulse. Jack Black spent 35 years on the subject. He's the newspaper man who she gave 2,600 pieces of art to him for the town. And she said that you can have it one condition, no money, anything, just one condition, it has to remain intact. Well, what is 2,600 pieces of art? That's a museum. So he spent 35 years of his life creating it. Basically, the, the film was all around Lois. You know, in the beginning, one of the first moods is she wanted to evoke the past and uh, at the graveyard is the first scene. And it almost starts to make me cry because of the, the letters. I mean, this woman, um, her thoughts and what she went through and um, the ups and the downs, but mostly the downs. And um, I just uh, followed the script. Tension is what is at the essence, of course, of art. It's the complexity of our situation, the fact that inherent in the human condition is the tragedy of knowing we're going to die and dealing with the fact that everything that we love and are is uh, temporary, uh, is part of something that's going to disappear uh, to preserve mm -hmm. by creating something that will match or at least this hold off nature. Mm. I mean, this is what it's all about. Jimmy Lee Suddeth, a real and instinctive artist. That dear sunshine man, so free of evil and greed. I never saw the difference between somebody who's an outsider artist and somebody who isn't. It's the same compulsion that, get, that makes you create art, you know? No matter what you do, you have to create art. So finding something to do it with. Um, you said something beautiful out, outside. It's the first, uh, you know, it's one of those terms that, what did you say, that it, it, it's not about the art, it's, it's, it's about the person, this term? Oh, well, I had said that, um, that I think that the term outsider art, why it seems to be such like a, a break in convention in the way that we talk about artists in art history, like in the academic sense, is, you know, you, you talk about, you, you, you describe a movement like cubism in terms of the art, what the art looks like, what the art does. And what you're doing when you're saying outsider is you're talking about the people. You're talking about their personal circumstances, whatever that may be. Economic or Economic their, or, or, or their mental disability, really. Right. Yeah. OCD. Or... So you're talking about the people, you're not talking about the art. Yeah. Uh, people who... Uh, you know, maybe are labeled as an outsider artist. Actually, like the line, the quote, Jimmy Lee, where he says, "Well, who's he's uh, uh, he's being asked if he sees himself as an outsider artist." He says, "Well, who's who named us outsider artists?" Academia began looking at folk art and uh, applied the name outside art. You would know that if. If someone named it outside art, it was the insiders who named it. I tell young actors uh, when they when they ask for advice, the best advice I can give you is not to become an actor, unless <laughs> unless unless you could pretty much say and defensively that you would die if you couldn't act. When you find yourself going back and going back and going back in spite of the humiliation, in spite of the rejection, then you are pursuing something, you're pursuing something that is commensurate with your capacity for wonder. Thank you so much. I hope you'll see the film. Thank you.